We have a go for auto sequence start. Challengers 4 redundant computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Minus 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Everything is go. T minus 12. T minus 10. We have go for engine start. T minus 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. We have liftoff of Challenger and Space Lab 2. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Tower clear. Roll program initiated. Houston now controlling. They'll be throttling down to 65% uh, throttles on their main engines. Now throttling down. Velocity now 1,000 uh, feet per second. Distance downrange to nautical miles, altitude uh, 4.1. Challenger Houston, your go at throttle up. Okay. Engines now back up to 104 percent. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells on Challenger. One minute, 30 seconds. Velocity now 3,200 feet per second. The uh, rate of climb 2,000 feet per second. That call a precursor to SRB separation. Standing by for SRB set. Good SRB SEP confirmed. Two minutes, 22 seconds now at 4,500 feet per second in uh, velocity. Five minutes, five seconds, mission lapse time. Now 214. Stand by for press to ATO. Challenger Houston, Mark, press, press to ATO. ATO. That call tells the crew that they should be ready to dump any fuel should an engine go down any time in the next 45 seconds. ATO stands for abort to orbit, should that uh, be necessary. APUs reported looking good, uh, three fuel cells up and running. Five minutes, 36 seconds. Altitude uh, 58 nautical miles, distance down range 275 nautical miles, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Speed copy, stand by. Flight photo abort ATO. Abort ATO. Challenger Houston, abort ATO. Abort ATO. Mission Control Houston, we have a center engine down on the Challenger. The crew has been instructed to abort to orbit. Center engine down and stable. The two uh, engines are up and running and they're stable. The center engine is down. Crew has been instructed to abort to orbit. We're now at uh, 6 minutes 27 seconds mission elapsed time. Altitude 58 nautical miles. The distance downrange 375 nautical miles. Velocity 13,000 feet per second. Again, we're in an abort to orbit case. We have two engines up and running, one engine down. Three APUs good. Uh, fuel cells also look good.
Challenger, Houston, single engine towel capability. That's your single engine towel. Roger that, and main engine limits to enable, Gordo. Okay. Main engine cutoff time now at an MET of 9 minutes, 41 seconds. Crew can still get to Zaragoza should they lose another engine. However, we still have uh, two stable space shuttle main engines. Center engine is down, however, and they've been instructed at this point to abort to orbit. Fair velocity now 15,700 feet per second. Altitude 56 nautical miles, distance downrange 546 nautical miles. MET now 7 minutes 55 seconds. Again, we have two main engines up and running. At 104%, center engine is down. Crew is aborting to orbit. to achieve proper uh, main engine cutoff constraints for this case. Attempted to go inhibited. Uh, I know we're single engine capability. Are we past tau, madam? Yes, we are, but limits to inhibit. Challenger Houston, main engine limits to inhibit. Okay, inhibit. We'll keep a good close eye on it. Okay, which deuces are you having trouble with? It's the fuel turbine tent. That's what shut down the center. We've lost another one on the right engine. The A center's looking good. Three nautical miles, distance downrange, 789 nautical miles. Velocity now 21,969 feet per second. on our uh, main engines, two main engines that are remaining. Center engine is down. Mission Control Houston, Miko confirmed. We copy and we're looking at it, Gordo. Challenger Houston will confirm no Ohms 1 required. APUs off on time.
and we see the uh, crew of Space Shuttle Mission 51F uh, now uh, exiting the orbiter. Commander Gordon Fullerton uh, shaking hands as he steps down the uh, stairway.